Live from the Singapore Indoor Stadium, it's the ABL on Fox. The JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers hosting the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers. The inside track for the final playoff spot on the line today. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Singapore. Alongside Chuck Schreiner, I'm Sean Farquhar. We'll be joined by Michelle Holland in a few moments. These two teams separated by just a half game in the ABL standings. The season series tied, Chuck, at two games apiece. They last met back on April 21st, and it was a feisty affair. 62-56, it could have gone either way. Singapore finally making some free throw shots down the stretch, Sean, and uh, they're looking for another great game today here in Singapore. Most recent games, 86-85 winners, the Malaysia Dragons, and then the Beer Men winning their 12th straight game, 15-3, and, and they got all they could handle from the Saigon Heat before winning at 71-69, the Indonesia Warriors at 13-5, and five, now two games behind. The Malaysia Dragons are pretty much locked into the number three spot now at 10 and eight. Slingers and Slammers, you see the Slingers, Chuck, holding a game in hand. And the winner of this game would hold the tiebreaker. They would have played five games and the winner of this would have won three. Should they finish the regular season tied on one loss record, the winner of today's game goes through to the playoffs. Yeah, not to say that this is the, the, the final straw, but uh, you know they do have some games that are winnable down the stretch, but this is a game, Sean, where really uh, Indonesia, they're going to be watching, everybody's going to be watching, because Singapore, really at home, you would think that they would be favored, but Thailand feels real bad about this last game. They feel that that's one that got away from them, and I think they're going to be really fired up. They only lost by six, and Chris Charles, one of the best players in the ABL, 0 for 10, from the floor, they got very little from their center. Yeah, and no, that bodes well for Singapore. If they can put uh, Singleton or, or Rashid Jennings Jones on him, it could it could it could fi fix up that way again. But uh, I'll tell you what, Charles at 0 for 10, that's not going to help them at all. They need to get production out of him. Singapore, Sean, I think they're going to need to get more production out of their guard. Of course, I've been saying that the whole season. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ball, Philip Morrison for the Singapore Slingers. This guy holds the hot hand for the Slingers, averaging 24 points over his last three games. Well, we saw him a game against the Beer Men, and you know, he had a great first quarter, but then sort of disappeared. Now he comes out, takes the ball to the hole almost every time, gets fouled, goes to the free throw shot, free throw line where he's 80%. He has been setting the world on fire from the line. Rashad Jones Jennings, 16 points, 13 rebounds in that win for the Slingers. This is a team, Chuck, that has struggled to score. So you get 24 a game from Philip Morrison. That gives them a huge lift, along with 16 from Jones Jennings. That's inside and outside. Anything that they can do to help Jennings, because what happens down low is they double up on him. When that happens, somebody's got to be open outside, and Morrison has been laying them up and putting them down from outside. That's exactly what the Slingers are going to have to have. The, the Thailand Slammers, after that 62-56 loss, were very unhappy with the way that game unfolded. They led it most of the way. Foul calls down the stretch, allowing the Slingers to score and take that game. They filed a protest with the ABL at the end of that, and in a shocking verdict, were denied by the league. Let's take a look at the starting lineups first. Neil Bing Siong will send out this five. Philip Morrison in the backcourt with Desmond O. Oh, Rashad Singleton at the center spot. Rashad Jones Jennings is the power forward. JJ Kabatu has really not given the Slingers enough this season. They will need a contribution from him today. For Joe Jellybean Bryant, Roy Boggion at the point, a legitimate MVP candidate. Knut Samarjai is the two guard. Chris Charles, a monster player most of the way, but remember he struggled against the Slingers in their last game. Darius Brandon and Chanachan Kohan round out the starting five for the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers. Six wins and 12 losses, but in line for a playoff spot. Well, Bagian, he's a guy to look out for. He can dominate play, leading the league with nine and a half assists. As you said, MVP candidate, Sean. They figure to dominate things from outside. Singapore has the edge inside. So inside, outside, big question, can Morrison keep it up? Can Morrison keep the uh, Thailand off defense honest? And can he knock down those shots? Can he force action, taking it to the hole? That all remains to be seen. Defending Chris Charles, they're going to do it by committee. Jones Jennings, Rashad Singleton. This guy, Chris Charles, is a low to handle. Oh, he can create havoc, believe me, and I think that's a smart thing to do. I don't think any one player can, can handle him. 
it might be smart to double up on him down low. But again, the same problems occur. He is a smart player. He can kick it back outside too. And then you've got Baggy on who can fill it up with the best of them. Philip Morrison, who has some sort of injury and will be wearing a head guard for this game. And Rashad Jones Jennings and JJ Kabatu being introduced here as fans continue to file in on what is a relatively early start at 3 p.m. local time here on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, usually we've been used to seeing games start four or five, even six o'clock on a Sunday. A lot of people have things to do, but uh, as you say, Singapore, a notoriously uh, slow attending crowd. They are still coming in. I would expect a pretty good crowd. Everybody knows the implications uh, that it's a basketball fan here, so I would look for a pretty good crowd before it ends. I'm really in intrigued about this uh, nose guard on Morrison. We'll try and find out more as this game unfolds. So the Slingers and Slammers just about set to go here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. We're going to step away when we come back. The opening tip. Slingers, Slammers battling for the final playoff spot. This is the ABL on Fox. We are back at the Singapore Indoor Stadium live on Fox Sports, the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers. Looking to leapfrog the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers in the ABL standings and in doing so, get the inside track on the fourth and final playoff spot. Chuck, let's talk about strategy for both these teams. Joe Jellybean Bryant, he has a team that like the Slingers, they struggle to score. And Chris Charles, he has had his problems with the Slingers. We certainly has them. As we said before, all they need to do is double up on him in the low post. If they can do that and neutralize him, then he's going to have to get it out to somebody on the perimeter. And as you got through saying, Sean, both these teams having problems when they are isolated with their guards. The guards not knocking it down with any sort of regularity. And that's the same problem the Slinger's been having, at least until they got Morrison fired up. Since losing to the Slingers, the Thailand Slammers have also dropped a game to the San Miguel Beermen. There, Charles, 16 points, 10 rebounds, but the Beermen were able to contain Charles using a committee of big men, and I'm sure Nyo Beng Siong, Michael Johnson, the rest of the coaching staff for Singapore took note of that. Oh, they certainly did, you know, and that's the word around the league. If you can stop that guy, as you said, Sean, not a lot of options on offense unless somebody gets the hot hand. Now, saying that, on the other side, we saw Singapore come here with some similar challenges a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, actually, and they just shot the lights out. So, given space, any of these guys have that capability to knock down shots. It's just which team will do it. My money's on Singapore from the outside. The Thailand just does not show me anything from the perimeter from the get-go. Two clubs that missed the playoffs last season. Now, down the stretch for the Slingers. After today, they would have four games remaining in the regular season for the Thailand Slammers after this one, just three remaining, including two games against the San Miguel Beermen. So this game particularly important for the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers. Oh, that's right. And then the other side of the ball, Singapore would love to wrap it up here. Not wrap it up, but, but get their nose ahead at home because uh, they do have another winnable game down the stretch against Saigon. As you said, the schedule looks much, much tougher for Thailand the last three or four games. 
Phil Morrison, Desmond O, oh, JJ Kabatu, Rashad Singleton, and Rashad Jones Jennings for the Singapore Slingers. Froy Bagion, Knut Summerjai, Chanachan Klahan, Darius Brannon, and former Villanova player Chris Charles at the center spot. And we are just about set to go here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. You know, if I'm Singleton, I'm not even worrying about scoring tonight. I'm in there to neutralize Charles, and they are jumping up together. Perhaps an omen of what's going to happen the rest of the way is there's a tip. And it is controlled by the Slammers. Roy Baggione, one of the best guards in the ABL this season. Matches up with Desmond O, now picked up by Morrison. Inside for Charles. This is going to be the battle all afternoon against Jones Jennings. Sends it back to Baggione. Six seconds to shoot. Baggione drives, show and go, and flips it on the up and under for the early deuce. Yeah, very, very smooth by Baggione on that drive, and you can see the Singapore slinger is giving him the separation. Easy march to the hoop there for Baggione. Now it's Jones Jennings, and Brandon is on him. O with the entry pass to Singleton. Looks to back down Charles. Morrison trying to get free. Three seconds on the shot clock. Singleton, and that is tip. Long lead pass. Baggione behind everyone for the easy lay-in. Great helping defense man-to-man -man by Thailand on that Singapore possession. Just everybody shifting over to where the ball was. J.J. Kabatu with his first touch. Morrison looking to drive. Knut Samarjai commits the foul. And that's exactly what Morrison has been doing as we saw that last game where he was so effective in the fourth quarter. Morrison just dropping that shoulder. Nice little drop step by Morrison, switching over to the left hand, trying to get down the baseline. He's fouled. Morrison outside for Kabatu. Filipino putting it on the floor. Screen from Singleton. Desmond O along the baseline. Darius Brannon, and that is a shot clock violation. Locked down defense from the Slammers. Absolutely. You can see everybody helping out and everybody just dropping down, knowing exactly what the plan for the Slingers is. They're going to try and pound the ball down low. They're going to send three guys down there, rotate two guys on Jenny, one on Singleton. That was enough to get it done that time. Roy Baggione, back in a Thailand uniform. He spent last season on the bench for the San Miguel Beermen, but rejuvenated this year. Samarjai, beautiful move, driving to the rim. Yeah, got a great drop step move on Singleton that time with the mismatch. He's a little bit quicker. Singleton was a step behind. Look at that again, tying him up. Rough shot. And no foul called. Slingers turn it over. Yeah, Morrison trying to force the issue that time. You can tell that mask, he doesn't feel comfortable with that mask. Who would? Constantly going to the back strap with it. Score actually six zip. Samarjai go outside for Brannon. Charles. Air ball and Brandon couldn't control. Nice job by Brandon to break away from his man and get inside. Too bad for him that the ball fell right to him and he stepped out of bounds. Good pursuit though. Now it's Jennings turn around. The hook shot is short. He has struggled to find his outside shot all season long. Brandon forced that. There's Brandon again on the other end. Got it. Count it, and the foul. And the Thailand Slammers are off to an excellent start. Now up eight zip, and Brandon wants more. Well, in transition, you can see Singapore there. They're going to call a timeout, but they were back on their heels. Didn't really know who was going to be responsible for anybody when the ball got down low. 7.18 to go in the first quarter, and the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers lead it 8-zip. More in a moment from Singapore. Hey, let's just go past and stay there. Check your friend in anybody. 
One more idea what's happening guys. Come on, see you on the Come on, let's go. Oh, you keep the ball. This time I want this. Same to go down here. Ricky, you go. Go. Curl. Right? After he curls, send. You pop back out. Okay? So we're going here. Chris, you pop back here. Okay, okay. Chris, you got it. He has two bigs here. We're going to have to pay you two. Okay? He starts with the defense. Stop on defense. Defense is the key. Be aggressive. Defense. Welcome back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium, the ABL live on Fox. The Sports Rev Thailand Slammers on the road, leading the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers 8-0. Darius Brandon at the line to complete a three-point play, which he does, and the Slammers up 9-zip. Transition defense for the Slingers, Chuck, non-existent. Yeah, and a couple steals and just locking it down, as you said, down low, not allowing Singapore to get set on that half-court offense. There's another steal right there. Beautiful play by Somerjai to intercept the pass. Neil Beng Siong for the Slingers, giving his team a tongue lashing in that timeout. Baguion to the free throw line, and with a hand in his face, is off the front of the iron. Nice rebound there by Singleton to clear out. So Singapore waiting and waiting, just trying to get something going on offense there, might be there. Pick and roll, and that's aborted. Morrison for three, he's fouled. So that will be three from the line for the Phil M, Philip Morrison. Yeah, this is where Morrison has made his money the last couple of games. We said he's averaging over 23 points, 12 down the stretch in a row that he didn't miss in that last game. So usually his game is to take it to the hole and then let the fouls occur, and hopefully he'll, he can dish it off that time from Threesville with a hand in his face. Good job by Morrison. Samarjai with his second foul and his two team fouls on the Slammers. The rotation of the Slingers offense very, very flat as you can see them line up just in a, looks almost like a two guards out front and then everybody else just heads downtown. Very easy to cover. In other words, you can cover three men when you've got three guys down low with two and that's exactly what Thailand's doing. Or Check that, the Slammers are doing. Morrison, an excellent free throw shooter, hits all three. Baguion with an over and back. That is good D from Desmond O. Yeah, Desmond O right in his hip pocket that time. You can see Baguion took his eye off the ball looking down court. He wanted to get rid of it. And then Desmond O stuck his hand in. Nice play. Slingers have missed their first four shots. Kabatu. They send two defenders out on Kabatu inside for Singleton. Help defense from Baguion and knocked out. Slingers will have it with 10 seconds to shoot. That's just what we were talking about before. Makes him very, very easy to cover Charles and then he waits and waits and waits before and then Baguion leaves his man. Desmond O rotated to the other side. Oh, along the baseline. And that's a kick ball, so they'll put 14 seconds on the shot clock. In that situation, Desmond O should have had gone ahead and rolled to the basket. Go ahead and pick up the foul. O at times this season, it's like he's scared to shoot. And he passed up the shot there again. Morrison, fade away for Singleton. Loose ball, Kabatu has it. He puts it up, and the foul is committed. I, I think it was nope. just out of bounds. It went off his hands. Cavadu should not have put the ball on the floor. He had a wide open guy on the other side of the basket, which was Morrison. Didn't see him. I stand corrected. No foul. Samarchai for Klahan. And Cavadu ripping down the rebound. Morrison putting it up. Jennings, on a difficult angle, gets the rebound. What a bailout by Jennings. Morrison, I don't know what he was thinking putting that ball up. 
Jennings gets Charles off his feet. Kabatu. Very little flow to this Slingers offense. Desmond O inside for Singleton. Two straight offensive boards and still Singapore with nothing to show for. There's a double team again. Hook shot was flat. Slingers still have yet to score from the field. Brannon sending it outside. Thailand Slammers turn it over. Good job by Jennings to slot in and stop Brandon. He sort of startled Brandon. Brandon thought he had a free roll to the hoop. Wasn't there, then uh, sort of panicked a little bit. There was nobody to throw the ball to. Slingers now 0 for 8 to begin this game. And lucky to only be down 6. Kabatu bangs with Klahan. Inside. And is short on the shot. Man, Kabatu has had some quality looks at the basket. He's not able to do anything with him. I think he's 0 for 4 from the floor. Got away with a the travel there. Brannon, now Klahan, with by crashing the glass. Shot did not hit the rim, so the shot clock continues, and that's blocked by Singleton. Great job by Singleton. Didn't go for the spin move. Morrison driving. And earns two at the line. Foul committed by Apiram Vilichai. That's his game. That's Morrison's game in a nutshell. Stayed on the low post. Took the pass. No hesitation. Straight up for the uh, attempted shot and is fouled. Second time at the line. There it is. Piram Vilichai putting his hands up. Who, me? The official not fooled. That's Morrison's first miss from the free throw line. You know, Sean, Singapore very fortunate only to be down by five or six at this point. They have looked very unsteady offensively. Kabatu in particular. When the Slingers beat the Slammers on April 21st, they got to the free throw line 34 times to just 17 for the Slammers. There's Darius Brannon in for the two-hand jam. Yeah, Kabatu in no man's land. He had to leave his man freeing up Brannon very quickly, getting down the lane. Nice job of Baggio to find him. Foul off the ball, and that's going to be on Jones Jennings. Uh, you can't run over your defender, especially with your arms outstretched like that. 3.50 to go in the first. Slammers on the road, leading it 11-4. Slingers have yet to score from the field. Baguion offloads Flahan, layup, and he'll get two at the strike. Well, they're yelling at Desmond. Oh, he left his man and then was basically standing by himself. That created a five on four. He tried to recuperate and get over there, but much, much too late. One more look. There he is, and watch him just get beat off the dribble. At the line, the six foot three Chana Chan Klahan. Joe Bryant. All season, Chuck has shown a lot of confidence in these Thai players. They get major minutes. Much different than the Singapore boys, they, who they rotate in and out, in and out all the time. Tough to get your confidence up. And a push from behind on Brandon. That's a silly foul on Darius Brandon. It really is. Brandon doing an doing absolutely outstanding job on defense. He's a little bit like Singleton. You don't really care how many points you get from him. His job is to neutralize anything that goes down low. Changes for both teams. Wudapong Dawson taking over for Klahan. J.J. Kabatu sitting down. And Lim Sheng Yu coming into the game. Singleton putting it on the floor. May have got away with a walk, and that is Singapore's first basket of the afternoon. Yeah, either a walk or a foul. Looks like he had the elbow pretty well locking up Charles. Makes the basket with his offhand. Charles sends it back. Dawson. Spin move, and the foul just outside the restricted area. Committed by Lim Sheng Yu. Well, just reaching in another silly foul by Singapore that time. First rule of defense, you play defense with your feet, not your hands. Both teams now with 
four fouls with 3.03 to go in the first. Good news for Singapore. They continue to be out of sync offensively, but only trail by five. And kept Charles off the board. Blocked by Singleton. And he has neutralized the Slammers big man thus far. He certainly has. He's not falling for that spin move. By the way, Singleton second in the league in block shots with 3.17 right behind. You guessed it, Charles. There's Charles, and he drains it from 18 feet. Much more effective when he doesn't put the ball on the floor. Face up to the basket. Singleton gave him the room. He knocks it down. Lim. And Singleton is out high. Foul off the ball. Waylon Wong back in the game right now. He was held as he tried to come out and help Morrison on the perimeter. Foul is on Wudapong Dawson. And that's the fifth team foul against the Thailand Slammers. So Lim Sheng Yu will head to the line. As you said, Sean, Thailand does have that propensity to foul, and they're showing it up. Again, not to belabor the point, but, I mean, they do lead Singapore by seven, but they've shown a little bit more discipline as far as their defense and holding on and committing these silly fouls. They'd be a lot further ahead in the game. One make, one miss for Lim. 13-7, slammers. Here's Dawson, one man to beat. Changes hands and scores. Morrison took a chance, just ran by him. He didn't want to commit the foul. Again, the Singapore defense not very good in transition. Morrison hits the deck. Long way long. Three from the top of the key, comes off the heel of the iron. He's the sort of guy that needs to develop that stroke early to keep his confidence up. We've seen him do it before this year. Two defenders on Charles. They go outside. Oh, Dawson from downtown yeah, hits behind, the three. Behind the screen, nice job by Charles. Slammers lead 18-7. Minute 52 to go in the opening period here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Now starting to take advantage of uh, the slump that Singapore did in there. With the, right, with the left hand that time, Jennings. Nice little spin move by him in traffic. Just the second field goal for the Slingers. Baguion now gives to Dawson. Eight seconds to shoot from the free throw line on a double pump. Dawson collects it. Baguion drives the floater. Touched by Jones Jennings. And a full 24 seconds for the Slammers to work with. Yeah, nice job by Singapore to plug up the leaks in that interior defense before Bagion has been able to just float down the middle and then find the passing lanes. There's a foul there, though, mm. holding on. Poor defense out of the inbound play by the Slingers, which will drive a coach crazy. Yeah, they're supposed to be switching, and it's supposed to be a helping man-to-man, -man, but nobody's helping. So a long way long on a couple occasions now, just let his man go through. Morrison guilty of that also. So it's basically been Jennings trying to Jennings and Singleton trying to plug up the leaks down low, and that's not enough. You're gonna need it's, it takes full commitment by all five guys for this sort of a defense to work. Slammers into the bonus. Up here in Villachai. Cannot connect. 18-9. Slammers lead. Long way long, who's been largely restricted to home games for the Singapore Slingers, a full-time commitment to his studies, preventing him from traveling with the team. So he's yet to really establish a rhythm for himself. And here we are deep in the ABL season. You look at Lim Shing Yu, he seems to be running away from the action. It's almost like Singapore is trying to play five on four. He's going to have to mix it up a little bit, show a little bit of courage. Look at him again, walking away from the action again. He needs to rotate over to the other side. Jones Jennings has it knocked out of his hands. Wudupong Dawson. Oh, that got away with yeah. And they stripped it. And the Slingers get it back. Long way long. Lim from outside. Jennings, offensive rebound. Double pump. Comes off the rim. Now it's Singleton. His hook shot is short. Charles controls. Slingers come away with Sinch. Charles down the lane, and the runner is good. No foul committed by Wong. 
29 with frenetic play at both ends. Yeah, Singapore just getting out hustled at both ends of the floor. No better way to put it. I mean, they're just, uh, Thailand's beating them to the spot, beating them to the passing lanes. They're getting in the lanes on defense. Desmond O for three. Switch for two seconds in the first quarter, and that will close out the scoring in the opening period. The Slammers shooting just south of 50%. The Slingers, three of 18, and yet they only trail by eight. 2012 Sports Rev Thailand Slammers leading the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers. You're watching the ABL on Fox. Yes, is, is that basically the number three? <laughs> we are back at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. There you see Joe Bryant. He has got his team out in front, 2012, in the first quarter. And they've done it with a combination of great defense, especially down low, shutting off the lanes and denying the ball when it gets down low. You can see whenever Singleton or Jennings does get the ball, Sean, they are denied very, very quickly, forcing them into very awkward shots, having to shoot with their offhand, and uh, shooting percentages aren't going to be very high with that. Some other guys in the Singapore lineup are going to have to get a little bit more active. I'm thinking about Lim. I'm thinking about Oh, although he did hit that last three. They're going to have to get more active on defense. Singleton and Jennings cannot do it by themselves. Morrison a little bit impaired with that mass, so right now very, very fortunate to only be down by eight. Long way long, Lim Sheng Yu, Rashad Singleton, Rashad Jones Jennings, and Desmond O oh begin the second quarter for the Singapore Slingers. Wudapong Gossam, Darius Brandon, Chris Charles, Roy Baggio, and Apiram Villachai. Long missing the three. Tracking down by Singleton. O oh, strong to the basket, but again, the Slingers emerge with nothing. Here's Apiram Villachai at the other end of the floor, and he hits the 12-foot runner. Yeah, they're right on top of them. You can see Singapore defenders having to backpedal. Just getting beat to the spot time after time. It's almost like transition basketball every time the Slammers get the ball. Oh, kicks it back outside to Wong Lei Long. The three is no good. Brandon with the rebound. Good job of spreading out the offense that are the slammers right now. Look at the lane, wide open. Oh, from the other side, Apiram Villachai gliding over for the deuce. And the slammers double up at 24-12. Getting all sorts of separation as Singapore playing a very lazy man-to-man. -man. Nobody helping out. Wong thought about the three, goes inside, then shovels it back. From the other side, oh! on the triple. Singleton in great position for the board, and he throws it down. First aggressive move we've seen so far by Singapore. Hopefully for them that's a good a sign of things to come, but they are not hitting their outside shots. Tipped by Jones Jennings. Charles, turn around. Inside, Brannon. No one boxing out for the Slingers. No, very, very weak attempt by Lim to get the defensive board as well. Got turned inside out and just basically gave up. He's getting pushed around in there. Jones Jennings. Looking for cutters. Nobody's cutting, so now he's got a freelance. 
Then he picks up the double team, and that's, your, that's what happens. Jones Jennings' shot is so shallow, it's got to be right on the money. Otherwise, it's not going in. Here's Baggion. Long way long on him. Baggion, yeah, he curls. Here's a Piram Vilichai. Were it not for Jones Jennings, there'd be no rebounding at all. That's right. No, very good point, Sean. 26-14. Slammers on top. 7-11 to go. Jennings from outside. It rattles in and out. Clearing glass is Charles. Jennings taking shots that he wouldn't normally take. There's a block. Third block by Singapore, two by Singleton, one by Jennings. But uh, right now, Thailand just dictating the pace of play, and they're doing it from outside, they're doing it from inside, but most of all, Sean, it's just lockdown defense at the other end, just a nine Singapore. Off the inbound. And a foul. Slinger's just... Struggling to defend on that inbound pass. It's Pyrax Sektira heading to the line. Yeah, that was Kabatu that time. Just a step behind, as we've been saying. They're, they're just a step too slow. They're just not getting to the spot. Very lethargic efforts thus far. Sektira, a swingman, he can replace Froilan Baggion if need be. In the game against the Beer Men, Baggion going out early with an injury. Sektira took over at the point. Here is Jennings who got position. Simple pass, simple play, but effective for the Slingers. Yeah, great play by Singleton to recognize him. This match is down low. The double team was getting ready to develop, but uh, none of those guys were able to stay with Jenny so smartly getting the ball down to the low block and something had to happen. It was going to be a foul. Either that or you're going to give him an uncontested two. So even though it's a foul by security, he did the right thing. Rashad Jones Jennings out of the University of Arkansas Little Rock played pro ball in Greece, Germany, the Ukraine, France, Mexico, and Taiwan. Singapore, just the latest stop in a basketball odyssey, Chuck. Well, you know, these guys are, are just, they pack their bags and they play for two or three different leagues during the course of the year. Baggione down for Sektira going inside. Brannon falling out of bounds, saving it. A lot of hustle plays coming for the Slammers. Brannon yeah. kicks it back. Baggione from outside, swish. Nobody putting a hand in his face. You give a man like that separation, he's going to knock it down. That's what he does. Neil Bing Siong needs to think about a timeout here with 6.10 to go in the first half. His team now down by 17. Well, I mean, you look at it, you, you, you played, what, 14 minutes of basketball and you got 14 points. No foul called on the Morrison play. He gathers himself. Oh, down Broadway. Comes up short on the lay-in. Baggion looking for help. Changed the shot at the last moment. Look at that. Look how aggressive Thailand is in travel. Slingers fortunate there. I mean, you can see the ball never hit the floor. Three passes and bam, you're already at the low post. That's the way to play transition basketball. Kabatu. Over for Singleton. Now O with Baggion on him. Kabatu looking for his first points. The foul on Pyrax Sektira, who is struggling here in the first half. Yeah, I think that's like two straight fouls on Sektira. I could excuse the one before that because he uh, had a mismatch with Jennings, but that one, there was no sense in, in fouling. Don't give fouls away. 5.31 to go here in the second quarter. Kabatu pulling it out. Dumps for Jennings inside. That hook shot is an adventure. Certainly is this game. We've seen him knock it down with regularity before, but not tonight. Not this afternoon. Baggio, so good on the crossover. Inside, Brannon. 
reverses, and he undresses Rashad Singleton. Uh, you call it. Baggio set that up, didn't he? He brought two men with him. Somebody had to be open, and great recognition by Baggio to get his man underneath. Little reverse off the drop step. Crowd here at the indoor stadium growing pensive. Jennings sends it out. Morrison for three. Morrison just not a factor offensively. Charles on the lead pass. Thailand will now set up in the half court. You say Morrison struggling. Yeah, how about 0 for 5 yeah. from the floor? Well, I go back to that mask. He must have taken an elbow and practice. Look at Charles. What a pass from Baggio. His dish to Charles. My goodness. Like the Red Sea opening up down low, hitting that passing lane, breezing right past two guys. Neil Beng Siong has seen enough with his Singapore Slingers trailing 35-14. He calls timeout. We'll step away and return you to the indoor stadium right after this. For Indoor Stadium, you're watching live coverage of the ABL on Fox Sports. Michelle Holland, Chuck Schreiner, and Sean Fark were on hand for this one. Neil Beng Siong and Michael Johnson coaching the Singapore Slingers team, laying into them, Chuck, for a lack of intensity, and it certainly shows on the score sheet down 35-14. Never a good idea if you're in the if you're in the hell and having to talk about defense when you're down by 20, almost 20 points. But that's exactly what they're talking about. They are not getting the weak side help that they had hoped on. We, remember we talked about it before, what Thailand's doing is very simple. They're just spreading out and getting space. Somebody has to come over and help, and then you've got to rotate the entire defense in a helping man-to-man. -man. It's not happening. That's the reason why they're getting lit up. Morrison for three. That's short. He's now 0 for 6. Singleton offensive rebound. Kabatu in rhythm, and he hits from 18 feet. Yeah, a little catch and shoot just what the doctor ordered. Quick rotation. Slingers now get this, 5 of 31 from the field. Just horrible. Baguion back for Charles from the free throw line. Excellent offensive board from Pyrax Sektira. Should never allow it to be happen. How does he get in between three? Baguion with a travel. That's a good call. We're going to see this again. Let's watch it. Baguion can't believe it. Now watch it. There's your penetration. Yeah. He sort of drugged that back foot, didn't he, off the dribble, so that's the reason why it was called. If this was rugby, he'd be good to go. <laughs> but again, it's on the defensive end. This is where everything is working for Thailand. They are turning offense from offense from defense. Oh, so look at it goodness. once again. Villachai, up here in Villachai, can't convert, but the Slingers need to wake up here. Morrison. And it's a tie-up, and the possession arrow favors the Thailand Slammers. Well, Morrison really, really struggling with that mask. I mean, uh, you can just imagine how uncomfortable it must be, and basketball requires 100% attention 100% of the time. There's no way he's getting that. He hasn't been able to knock down his shots, and he's getting hassled on defense as well. Baguio with long way long giving chase. He brings it back outside. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Charles with two defenders on him. Goes high off the window and draws contact. Nice job by Charles. Little stutter step gets his man up in the air and just follows through with the shoulder. He'll go the line for two. 
if you are just tuning in, these two teams separated by a half game in the ABL standings, they have split their first four games, two games apiece. This is the fifth and final meeting between Thailand and Singapore. The winner of this has the inside track on the fourth and final playoff spot. Six teams in the ABL top four go into the playoffs. San Miguel Beermen, Indonesia Warriors, and Westport Malaysia Dragons holding down the first three playoff spots. The Thailand forces Singapore to work from outside where they have not been able to knock down their shots. So that's the difference in the game. That and just pure grit and hustle on defense. Singleton across the lane and one for the former Florida Southern Moccasin. Finally getting some space. Matriculating from right to left. Getting that shoulder down, using that right side of his body to fend off the defenders. Spot on with the left hand. Rashad Singleton. I got it. Coming to the swingers out of the Mexican League. He replaced Kyle Jeffers, the center to begin the season for the Slingers. Baguion on a drive, gives to Brannon, and easy as you like, working against J.J. Kabatu. Yeah. On the penetration, sucking in the Singapore Slingers defenders, somebody open on that left-hand side, they hit it every time. Kabatu rolls to the rim, 39-20, slammers on top. Slingers need a stop. Morrison intercepts that pass. One of the few times that didn't work. Working Morrison. off the high screen. Kabatu steps up, scores, and will go to the line for a four-point play. Well, offense coming from an unlikely source. That uh, is what they signed him up to do. He's been a little bit disappointing for the year, but uh, was that seven points in about the last three or four minutes? He has been the Slingers offense in the last couple of minutes. So they climb to within 16. Singapore will be looking to try and get it down to 11 or 12 before the end of the half. J.J. Kabatu, like Freud Baggio, a former member of the San Miguel Beermen. Back outside, Slingers have it. Full 24 seconds on the clock. Opportunity that they're going to have to try and take advantage of here now. Kaboto doesn't need to be putting the ball on the floor like that. Morrison back to Kabatu. He's feeling it. Can't hit from outside. Yeah, awkward looking shot that time. Bagium darting through down the middle. Charles blocked by Singleton. Third block by Singleton. Shot didn't touch the rim, so the shot clock continues to go to five seconds now on the shot clock. Baggion from outside. Loose ball coming up with a Kohan, and then Sektira. Brannon will roll. Brannon coming up with it again. Brannon a little bit out of control on that last attempt. Very fortunate to get the ball back. What a sequence here for the Slammers. Fourth crack at it there. Sektira inside. And finally, pulled out by Kabatu and the Slingers. Long way long, outside, Morrison. That should have been three points. Yeah, he just can't get into any rhythm at the moment. Wow, Baggion, I thought guilty of traveling. The two is good for Charles. Well, frenetic action, back and forth, back and forth. It looked for a while that Singapore was gonna stay with him. They got some fortunate plays at the other end. How about four or five possessions there for Thailand, still not able to do anything. I thought the rhythm might have changed a little bit, but uh, no, not to happen. Again, Thailand very, very good in transition, beating Singapore to the spot, easy two for them. And with that, they go on top by 18. Final 35 of the first half. Fans here at the indoor stadium, very little to cheer about over the first 20 minutes. And that pass stolen, Volkov, now Brannon goes across. Unselfish play here by the Slammers. Volkov trying to atone for his error. Desmond O from outside. 
I mean, no reason to rush the shot like that. You look, there's nine or 10 seconds left on the clock. What are you thinking? You at least want to take the last shot of the half. Now, opportunity for Thailand to go 20 points up. Not to mention the fact that you didn't need the three. Here's Sekira. The Singapore Slingers, eight of 37 from the floor, shoot 22%. Slammers, 16 of 35, 41% shooting. And they are going to take an 18 point lead into the locker room and after 20 minutes, it's the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers looking good to leapfrog the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers in the standings and get the inside track on the final playoff spot. Yeah, they did, they did it with defense. It was fantastic the way that they wrapped it up down low. And uh, I think we have an interview with Michelle, Sean. That's coming up in just a moment. Well, I think defensively we're playing very well. I mean, we held them to 12 points in the first quarter, you know, and 11, 11 points the second quarter. So the key is going to be defense, and also we're really getting out and running a fast break, getting more fast break points. Uh, you know, Singapore's a good team. They have some really good scores, but I think we're playing uh, with a lot more energy than we did in the past. And also, to our advantage, we can go 9 or 10 deep on the bench. So we're going to use we're going to, we, we, we use a slang, you know, uh, Reggie Miller, you said, you know, use up all your bullets in the gun. So we're going to use all our bullets up in the gun tonight. What do you see as your biggest challenge out there today? Well, to make sure we control Morrison. I mean, Morrison is very good. Uh, and then, you know, the two bigs are good. So we just really got to just be very aggressive defensively, uh, use our fouls smartly, and, uh, and hopefully come out with a victory. Again, as I said, you're in a similar position just over a week ago, but it was a game you lost. How are we going to make sure that doesn't happen again today? Because of experience. You know, we've been there before and done it, so we don't want to make the same mistake twice. And I think the players are aware of that. Thank you very much for joining us, Coach. Thank you. Well, Joe Bryant saying defense is what got them to this stage and it's going to carry them through in that second half. Oh, absolutely, Sean. You know, just shut down from uh, start to finish. And I, I think that uh, he was right in transition, too. Look at the job that they're doing. I mean, they're, they're taking just re normal rebounds, and they're turning into transition basketball. Singapore cannot cope with their speed right now. Very little going for the Slingers from outside. Philip Morrison 0 for 7. As a result, Slammers 41, Slingers 23. We're back to Singapore right after this.
Jobstreet.com, Singapore Slingers and Sports Rev Thailand Slammers battling for the fourth and final playoff spot in that first half, all Thailand. Wow, Darius Brannon had a whale of a first 20 minutes. Oh, you're talking 13 points, double digits and rebounds as well. I mean, which one is Charles? We're respecting those numbers from Charles. It's been Brannon, and plus he's been ratcheting it up on defense as well, Sean. We talked a lot about Chris Charles before this game, but Darius Brannon had a lot to say in the first half. First, the pass there from Froy Boggion, and Brannon on his winning to a six of eight shooting there, completely baffling to Sean Singleton inside for the reversal. Doing very well, the number two scoring option is number one thus far. That's right, and uh, you know, what a job he has done. So defense, uh, as the coach Jellybean said, that uh, they're getting things done there, but also Baggy on as well. He's already got nine assists in the first half. Sean, he averages 9.5 through an entire game. He's already got that in the first half, and a lot of it to Brandon, as you said. Baggione has rediscovered the fountain of youth and the pass to Chris Charles on his way to nine dimes in that first half. By contrast, very little to cheer about for the Singapore Slingers. Rashad Singleton, their leading scorer through the first half, trying to contain Chris Charles there with a couple of early blocks. Well, we were laughing about it a little bit, but it's true. The only good thing you can say about Singapore pretty much in the first half is, well, Singleton's got four blocks. We know that uh, he has uh, 3.17. That's what he averages for each game, but uh, getting it done inside for the Slingers. So a huge 41-23 halftime lead for the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers. In this game, the Singapore Slingers partnering with the Singapore Environment Council in a Slinging for Green promotion. For more on that, let's go over to our Michelle Holland. Thank you, Sean. Yes, I am here with Damien Young from the Singapore Environment Council, and there is an interesting campaign that's happening alongside the Singapore Slingers. So let's ask you about that. Damon, tell us a little bit how this partnership with the Singapore Slingers came along and what the campaign is about. Thank you, Michelle. So, uh, Singapore Environment Council is always looking out for opportunities to partner with different uh, agencies and organizations to bring the message, the environmental message to a larger audience out there. So it's a natural choice that we move into sports where it's a sector which we honestly should have done more in the past, but now we are we're correcting the wrong, so to speak. So we are, we are we're moving into this sector, sports sector, and Singapore Slingers, I mean, the packed stadium here, right? So. Oh, what, what better opportunity for us to bring the message out to a larger audience out there. As we are able to touch a, a sector of a society, a sector of the a community that hasn't previously been tapped on for such opportunities before. Yeah, and uh, you're, you're absolutely right. What better opportunity, not only in front of these people over here, but also in front of you good people at home. I think we actually do have an opportunity now to see a part of the campaign which reflects the partnership between these slingers and the Singapore Environment Council, which is in a video that they've made. Here we are. That referee is absolutely priceless. At the half, the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers lead the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers 41-23, the third quarter when we return on Fox Sports.
to welcome you once again to the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Third quarter action, just about set to go. The sports rep Thailand Slammers all over it in the first half, leading the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers 41-23. Virtually nothing going for the Slingers from downtown. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're two from thir for 13 beyond the arc. In contrast, you look at the Slammers, two of three. Short answer to that is, well, Singapore has been forced to hoist up some Shots from way downtown that they don't normally take. Also, look at the rebounds, 26 to 18 in favor of the Slammers. So just totally being outplayed. Uh, points in transition, you don't even want to talk about it if you're the Slingers. Lots of things that Coach Yo can talk to his boys about, but it gets done on defense, as Coach Jellybean said for Thailand. Everything is predicated by defense. He's absolutely right. Long way long, Philip Morrison, Rashad Jones Jennings, Mitch Fulkoff, and Rashad Singleton begin the third quarter for Singapore. Darius Brandon, Chanachan Klahan, Samarjai, Charles and Bagion for Thailand, and Singapore starts out with an early bucket. Well, that's eight for Singleton, one of the bright spots for the Slingers in the first half. He's going to have to do a lot more of that. Look at that wide open. And then the pass to Charles. And a rare miss around the rim for Chris Charles. Philip Morrison out on the wing. And no foul that time. They're going to say Morrison just slipped and fell. So very, very aggressive by aggressive defense being employed by Thailand right from the get-go. They haven't missed a beat. Morrison wearing a face mask because his nose was broken in the last game for Singapore, which was against the Slammers team. Klahan outside for Brandon, shot very well in the first half. Charles, spin move, tough shot, rolls off the front of the rim. Nice job by Jennings that time. Good job by Singleton to clean it up underneath the boards. Now guard play is going to be so important for Singapore in this second half if they want to get back into it. Unacceptable to be shooting 22%. Three guards for Singapore to start this third quarter. Long way long. Jennings putting it on the floor and a shot clock violation. Jones Jennings losing track of how much time there was because he saw him hesitate before taking that shot. Yeah, he had no idea that the shot clock had wound down like that. No communication between Singapore on the offensive set to their big man. Wong trying to disrupt Baguion. Singleton comes out on Baguion. Knut Samarjai for Charles. Five seconds on the shot clock. And three seconds to shoot for Thailand. Yeah. Smart timeout called by the coaching staff for Thailand. You don't want to waste any possessions. You want to put this game away just as quickly as possible, up by 16. 41-25 with 8.20 to go on the third as we step away. Slammers with the ball, 8.20 to go in the third, on top, 41-25. Three seconds on the shot clock. Lahan, here's Charles down the middle. He beats the shot clock, but unable to convert. Volkov looking for his first points today. 
good job by Thailand to get back on defense very quickly. Still running that healthy man-to-man -man defense that's been so effective. Jones Jennings left hand. And he continues to struggle. Now one of seven yeah, Brandon, from, the, from so, the floor. Sorry, uh, Sean. Brandon doing a great job on Jones Jennings. And another turnover, that time by Thailand. Slammers with six turnovers to be Slingers seven. I think the official score charitable for both teams. Singleton losing it and gang tackle for it. And Darius Brandon, I don't think, appreciated the bear hug from Singleton. Going to go Thailand's way. On the alternating possession. So they'll take it out underneath uh, Singapore's basket. You saw the intensity there. These two teams trying to get in line for the fourth and final playoff spot. This game would go a long way to determining that. Lahan has it stripped, regains control, puts it up. Three seconds. Oh, no foul called, and you are correct, Chuck. Jellybean Bryant can't believe the call because it was all kinds of contact in the interior. Yeah, he's saying, how can it be three seconds when nobody had possession of the ball? And I think he's got a point. Play continues, 41-25. Slammers on top. Mitch Volkov. Slammers with excellent perimeter defense in this game. Long way long from outside. Jennings saving it. And that'll be an over and back. A long way long. You can see the only reason why he shot that ball is the interior guys were all covered by black shirts. Thailand has not missed a beat on defense here in the second half. Brandon still doing a knockout job on Jennings down low. Joe Bryant telling our Michelle Holland at halftime, defense is going to be the key here in the second half. Thus far, that's exactly right. Defense has created their offense in a lot of ways. Clahan outside, Baguion show and go move. He drives inside, tap back. Charles coming up with it. Once again, the slammers getting to every loose ball, it seems. Yeah, you're very, absolutely right, Sean. That is, these are just hustle moves for the slammers, especially underneath these 50-50 balls. How come every single time I watch it again? Here's the start of the sequence. There's the kick out. Well, that's from Charles. That's a subsequent play before that. But uh, getting to every single loose ball. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Baguion outside will put up a three and hit. They are now three of four from beyond the arc. Yeah, where was Desmond O? Look at the separation. He had time to count the seams on the ball. Should never happen. Morrison has it taken away and knocked out by Jennings. And that's fortuitous because the slammers had numbers. That's right. Every time Thailand gets the ball, whether it's a steal or if it's just a simple rebound, they're looking to run out in the open court. That's where they've had a lot of success. Crowd very quiet here at the indoor stadium. Oh, the pass inside, tie to tie. Samarjai to Klahan, and it's a 46-25 lead. That's what happens. Good offensive set, it's contagious, just clearing out. That could have been a foul there. They're gonna give it on Brandon, but actually it was Jennings who lowered his shoulder on the player. I couldn't see who it was. Kalahan. Watch it again. There he is. That could have been an offensive foul very, very easily. Yeah, Jennings, very deliberate in rolling to the cup, but bailed out by the foul call. Well, you know, it just seems to be one of these days where nothing offensively that Singapore is doing is, is, is right. Not rotating. Chuck, the slingers, the slingers are 5 of 13 from the free throw line. A lane violation is going to give Jones Jennings another free throw. He missed his first two. Well, we said the last game they were only 59% from the line. That was one of the reasons why it was such a close game in Thailand. And look, he missed another one. He gets a break and can't cash in. 
So officially 5 of 13 from the strike for Singapore. Baguion passes out of trouble. Charles, two oh, spin yeah, moves yeah. and he rolls to the rim for the deuce. Yeah, Brandon makes that play because he gets to the ball and he's immediately looking for Charles. Charles getting the ball, one spin move, then spin move the other way to lay it up and in. Brandon and Charles putting on a clinic of low post basketball. Skip pass to Jennings. Basket is waved off. That foul will be on the floor. With the slammers on top, 48-25, 5-14 to go in the third. You know, it hasn't happened yet, but I, I can guarantee you, if you get down to a minute or two left in the third quarter and the score remains this, you're gonna see some heads go down for Singapore. They Wong need to get Wong. it started now, and another turnover. Nothing on the interior for Wong. Charles, he leans inside, blocking foul. Good call. The basket will count. Yeah, good call. Desmond O moved into the path of Charles. Very dangerous play as well. Take a look. Now watch there. This is the pre yeah, no, that's, that's not smart on the part of Desmond O. Not at all. Very too dangerous. late, yeah, he's too late getting there, so. Charles converts the three-point play. He's up to 11 points. It is a dispirited JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers. Trailing now by 26. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, 53 25, and I don't even know what you tell your players when you get over there. There are some coaches that will make you play your way out of it. To Coach Nyo and Mike's credit, at least they're going there trying to talk it over, but nothing's going to happen with them unless they decide to play defense. They have, they have not committed to defense this entire game. Plus, out in the open court, Thailand is making every possession into a fast break. Singapore, no answer. Thailand own in Singapore will step away and return to the indoor stadium in a moment. Singapore as we welcome you back to the indoor stadium. Chris Charles with 11, check that, 13 points now after his last basket over the top of Desmond O. A 10 to 2 run by Thailand coming out here in the third quarter to start action off. Singleton gathers himself, oh, nowhere to run. That is a good job of sealing off by Charles and Brandon. That's right, that's right, exactly right, Sean. On the low post, Brandon coming over and, and just a shutdown defense on whatever big has the ball. Doesn't matter if it's Singleton or Jennings, they're both doing a superb job. There it is again. Singleton thought about the three. Oh, slicing through. That shot beat the shot clock, but in and out for O. And the crowd starting to get very restless here at the indoor stadium, unhappy with the play of their slingers. Thailand doing a good job spreading out the offensive set again. They know they've got quickness in their favor as well. Brandon coming up with it, shovels it on the pocket pass to Baguion, baseline drive and score for the Slammers point guard. Yeah, exactly, just turning his defender inside out. This time, number seven for Singapore, who's in the game right now. Baguion has 12, shooting 50% from the floor. That was Wu who he victimized that time. Jennings pumps and Klahan comes over on help defense. And again, you know, he ends up getting the foul, but if you're a coach, you're shaking your head, you're going, yeah. Fantastic hustle if you're Klahan. Watch it again. Here he comes from that weak side position. Wrapping him up. And if you're Thailand, 
you're happy to put Jennings on the line. He is not a good free throw shooter. Jennings with two points this game. Singapore collectively, Sean, it seems hard to leave. Uh, less than four minutes played, 25 points. We're talking about professional basketball players. And that free throw was an air ball. And Rashad Jones Jennings very much out of sorts. Well, you know, you just have to keep your nose to the grindstone. Now 0 of 6 from the stripe. And in Thailand in a position right now, if they can keep it going for four more minutes. Oh, drive and the score. Yeah. Count it. Pyrax Sektira with a beautiful roll to the rim. Well, he saw there was nobody his size around the baskets. We're going to look at it again. Now watch him go straight at the bigs. No way Jennings is going to get there in time. He doesn't have the foot speed. Easy, too. And I must correct myself. That is Knut Samarjai with the three-point play opportunity. Victimizing Wong that time, number eight. Wong for O. Passes up on the three. No defender was in sight. Now here's O. Corner three. Wong from the other corner, that shot is aborted and Wong will get a trio of free throws. Well, not a very good foul there, but you know, you gotta admire their spirit. They have been told by the coaching staff of Thailon, we defend, we defend every single shot that they take. We can test every shot that they take. And that's exactly how they have jumped off to this 30 point lead, Sean, or 28 point lead. It has to be said, a poor performance by Singapore in a game critical to their playoff chances. Well, that's, that's what I don't understand. I mean, a game that they knew that they had to win if they were to win this game at home in front of their crowd, then uh, one would think that they'd had the inside track to getting that fourth and final playoff spot, but they've just been intimidated since uh, the first minute of the game. They've just never recovered. Wong with the free throws, makes it a 55-28 game. You can see Baggio and the whole team just sort of spreading out their offense and just taking it easy right now. No need to be in a hurry. Baggio. Now Charles. Shot clock violation is the Ball did not catch rim. Oh, they swing it. Kabatu had a foot on the line. Would have been a two had it gone. JJ Kabatu, three of seven. That makes him one of the better shooters today yeah, for Jen Singapore. Jennings out of the game, so opportunity here for Thailand really to stick it to him. Klahan. Rebound from goal. And a foul at the other end. Wong Wei Long will go to the line. Well, that's what they needed about two quarters ago from these uh, guards. You fall behind by 25 points. That means obviously something's not working. And one of the things that wasn't working is they weren't being aggressive going to the cup. Wong does it that time and gets rewarded. Stops the clock, puts him at the line. We're hoping he can knock down a couple shots. Wong with four points, all of them coming from the free throw line. 0-4 from the field on the afternoon. Cannot say enough about the effort that Brandon has put in today, both offensively and defensively, Sean. He has been a spark plug for this offense and defense. Brandon coming to the Slammers in midseason, taking over from the released Michael Earl. Charles with the offensive board, blocked by Go. Wong looking to do it himself. Go coming in and a foul on Bagion. 
Again, forcing the action, stopping the clock, getting to the line. That's one way to do it. Kabato this time. Kabato this time. Look at it again. Now, you've got to knock down your free throws. It's not a lost cause, but unless you believe that, it's not going to do any good. If Singapore can get it down to, say, under 20, say 16, 17, I know that's a tall order before the end of the quarter, but it is certainly doable. A couple of stops on uh, defense. Get the ball out into the open court and do things like that. Force the ball to the basket. Just get something that you can build on, anything that you can build on. Swingers, 11 of 22 from the free throw line. Full court pressure now by Singapore. Broken easily. Brannon over for Charles outside. Samurjai. Offensive foul. Well, you know, that's similar to that same play that we saw a while ago with Jennings down here throwing a shoulder into a player. Nothing called. It is called that time. So sometimes it's not fair, but. Uh, Ooh, and I'll tell you what. I think that was a poor call. Wang Wei Wang did not have his feet set at all. So opportunity now for Singapore though. Needing cutters. You see Desmond oh, just camping out out there. You cannot do that. You've got to have your guards in a situation like this, making the cuts towards the basket. Show a little bit of courage. Nothing to lose at this point. 84 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, inside and trying to force a bounce pass. Just poor decision making. Yeah, I mean, he'd already, he'd already found the lane. Why as well just take the ball to the hole? Why pass it off, especially to somebody's feet? Charles calling for it. They swing it, Dawson. Charles over the top of Singleton and flying in, root upon Dawson with the put back effort. Everybody touching the ball, everybody feeling that they're part of the offense in the half court set. Root upon Dawson, a Thai American born in Karachi, Pakistan. Kabatu outside, Belden go. He hits just the 10th field goal of the afternoon for Singapore. Again, forcing the action, taking the ball inside, forcing the Thailand uh, defenders to move their feet, make them overcommit. Foul is on Rashad Singleton. Two fouls on Singleton with 26.3 seconds left in the third. And I don't think either Dawson or Charles have taken a, a minute off of this game. Baguion over for Dawson. Brannon, pocket pass to Charles. He is stripped. Kabatu outlets to O. Kabatu goes down the middle, in and out. That should have been two points. Yeah, right idea, just what we were talking about. They're having Dawson some success. To beat the shot clock and end the third quarter. The Sports Rev Thailand Slammers, 10 minutes away from a blowout victory over the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers on their home floor. 13 points for Darius Brannon, 13 for Chris Charles, 12 points for Froilon Bagyon, along with 10 assists. And with the fourth quarter still to come, Slammers 57, Slingers 33. This is the ABL on Fox.
We are back. Joe Jelly Bean Bryant and his Sports Rev Thailand Slammers with a commitment to defense, limiting the Slingers, Chuck Schreiner, to just 33 points through three quarters. Yeah, and limiting the Slingers to 10 points in that pivotal third period where, you know, we were talking at the break. It, it's not as if the Slammers are knocking the lights out either. As you said, they're shooting 38%. They only scored 16 points in that third quarter too. But when you hold a team to 10 and you score 16, you're six points to the good. They led 41-23 at the half. So if anything, the deficit has gotten bigger. And the lack of commitment to defense just really hurting Singapore. You know, you figure that they've had a week off too, Sean. Uh, really no excuse for a lackadaisical effort like this. The Slammers, meanwhile, playing in midweek, losing to the San Miguel Beermen, 78-70 at Namiboot Stadium. Silly foul there by Bogion Again, uh, he had weak side help on that side. Charles coming over from the baseline. When the afternoon began, the Slingers, a half game in front of the Thailand Slammers. Slingers at 6-11 in the ABL standings. Slammers 6-12 with what shapes up to be a Thailand win today. They would leapfrog the Slingers in the standings. And more importantly, as Rashad Jones Jennings gets just his second field goal of the afternoon. But more importantly, the Slammers would clinch the season series. And should these two teams end the regular season with the same one loss record, the Slammers would go through to the playoffs. Slingers would get nothing and like it. Rudapong Dawson, corner three, too strong. Brannon tapping it out. He has hustled on both ends of the floor. Darius Brannon, here's Bagion now. Bahai, a little fake, goes inside. Offensive foul. Basket is nullified. Well, Slingers are getting some breaks, but the problem is they're not taking advantage of them on the offensive end. That's about the third straight turnover we've seen with uh, Thailand, but then they get down, and it, all, for all the world, Sean, it just looks like they're lost on their offensive set. I don't know, like they don't have enough options off the offense. But again, taking nothing away from Thailand's defense, I'm sure that's a lot of the reason it just appears that way. Two defenders collapsing on Singleton. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Charles giving no breathing space at all to Singleton. Here's O, finger roll. Very short. Now Bagion going with him. Dossum and then in for the flush on the follow is Chris Charles. Yeah, the trailer, that's what Charles was doing, and that's the way they're, they're running there. Game in transition, it's been this way the whole entire game. Singapore back on their heels on offense and defense. 15 points, 14 boards for Chris Charles. Double Jennings team. off the glass. Um, They're gonna say that's an offensive foul, Sean. Yes, and no basket for Jennings. Yep, they, Watch it again. Yeah, yeah, that right elbow. Well. Even Steven on those calls, he got away with one as we saw a little while ago. So referee's getting wise to that. Again, a foul out of frustration. 26 point bulge now. 8-12 remaining. And the playoff hopes the Slingers dim considerably with a loss today. Udapong Dawson feeling his oats, goes inside and puts Rashad Jones Jennings on a poster. Yeah, all but abandoning the baseline that time, allowing Charles to get through there as the defense gets sucked up. Here it is again, look at him. All by his lonesome back there. Dossum, part of a budding squad of Thai talent. Joe Bryant, also in charge of the Thai national team. And he's got some very solid talent. Oh, Chana absolutely. Chana Kong Pyrex Santira, yeah. Dawson, Chana Chan Klahan. And what do we have here? And see, look at the enthusiasm of this. Of the, of these, I mean, these Thai guys came up here on a mission, Sean. They really, in their heart, Phil, I was talking to the assistant coach before the game, they really, in their heart, felt that they were robbed in that last game. And they came here to make a statement. They've done exactly that. And Joe Bryan has certainly got them ready for this game. Strong team defense has been superb for the Thailand Slammers. Jennings controls the glass. 
Oh, Brennan flying in to cut off that pass. Once again, a hustle play. That's sent out of bounds, but Darius Brannon has been everywhere for Thailand. Yeah, and you know, part of that reason was because because go uh, watch this. Just telegraphing it. Just telegraphing it. Brannon, interestingly, a dual US Rwandan citizen. Not a lot of basketball players can make that claim. Delvin Go from outside. That rattles out. Finds its way into the hands of Polkov. Now Wong. Slingers just seem unsure what to do yeah, with the ball. Yeah, no confidence at all. They're trying to force it into the middle. Dawson gets behind everyone and with the jam rocks the rim. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this Dawson guy. What a player. Great recognition that the ball was going to go into the open court and he just takes it and runs. The lead swells to 29. 7.08 to go. We're returning to the indoor stadium. You're watching the ABL on Fox. Jones Jennings, one of the leaders of this Singapore Slingers team, is struggling here in a big way. Just one of nine from the floor, two points on the afternoon, 0 of six from the free throw line. His Slingers in a 62-35 hole. Chuck, during the break we were talking about the fact that Slingers struggling in all kinds of ways. Just two points here in the fourth quarter, and we're three minutes in. Yeah, I mean, that you know, and this is a quarter where they were supposed to do some damage. They had some good things happen towards the end of the third quarter forcing the ball into the uh, basket and getting some fouls, going to the line, at least showing us a glimmer of what they could do. But uh, reverting back to that old style, just very, very tentative on offense, losing a step on defense, not getting to the spot, not helping on defensive assignments. And uh, it, that's been that way the entire day. Just no adjustments being made. I think that's the most frustrating thing. I, I know it will be for Coach Nyo. Apiram Villachai will sit down. Looking for somebody to cut. Philip Morrison after a long spell on the bench back in the game. Jennings from outside. Not really his game. Singleton with the offensive rebound. May have taken a hand to the eye. And you know, you can see on that offensive uh, set, that sort of predicates everything. All they're doing is passing the ball around on the perimeter. Take the shot. If it misses, somebody get the ball. Hopefully get a rebound and put it back up. So I said it just looks suspiciously like they don't have enough options off their offense. But uh, again, saying that, a lot of that is being predicated by the shutdown defense that Thailand's laying on them today. Bagion has just been superb. On the day, 12 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, Assist. excuse me. Nine of those were in the first half when the game you know, was in doubt. There's Charles rolling off the screen. Brannon goes down the middle, uh -huh. and oh, the up and under finger roll from Darius Brannon. How are you able to do that? Because you have space to do that. Go, sliding over. Two defenders on Morrison. Singleton, weak side for Jennings. Comes off the rim, he'll have two at the line. 
and the Slammers will live with that. Yeah, they don't mind that. You know, they'll go ahead and take the foul. The game's pretty much safely out of reach at the moment anyway, and, uh, and that's the sort of day it's been for. Watch it again, Singleton. Can't finish it. In fact, this shot changed a little bit by Charles. So Jennings at the line. Comes off the rim. Watch his shot carefully. There's a hesitation yeah. before he releases, and that's what's causing the problems. There's no flow here in the release. We'll get a good look at it right. See that hesitation? He makes one. That's his first of eight free throws. Yeah, Singapore shooting only 50% from the, from the line. And you know, that's a shame because Jones Jennings' game is inside. Everything's from within eight feet, so he's going to get to the line an awful lot. I mean, there, practically there is no interior defense for Singapore at the moment. Baguion just shredding at the ribbons there. Go! And a foul on Wudapong Dossum. Again, at least they all them go being aggressive, being proactive, going to the hole. Not to belabor the point, but that accomplishes two things. Number one, it does get you to the line. Well, I'm not so sure that's a good thing today, but it stops the clock. Slingers down 32 points with 5.38 to go in the fourth. They started the day a half game in front of the sports rev Thailand Slammers in the ABL standings. Was well, it something like Thailand's had to play three games in the last eight or nine days? They played on April 21st and then a midweek game against the San Miguel Beermen, and now they're playing on a Sunday afternoon. So that's just about right. So Singapore's had a week of rest, and this is their third game in eight days. Volkoff from the free throw line gets all cotton. Rare uncontested basket. Well, first time we've seen Thailand be lazy on defense, but that was certainly the case there. A little fade away. It's going to be off the mark. Singleton with the board. Morrison trying to hit from the floor. Now 0 of 8. You know, I hate to say it, but pretty much garbage time right now under five minutes to play. See if Thailand sticks with their game plan. Dawson in no rush. Looking to take go one on one. Loose ball. Who comes up with it? Darius Brandon, that man again. Dawson fades away and knocked out by Go. Slammers will have it with 17 seconds on the shot clock. I mean, every loose ball in this game has been scooped up by the Slammers. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the game Dawson has. I mean, I saw that real quick step he just now took. He didn't finish it, but my goodness, first step left uh, Go in his wake, just zipped right past him. Nice inbounds move. Into the corner, and this will be Slinger's ball. And you can see the difference. Thailand still hustling after every single loose ball. Singapore with their heads down, sort of walking, going through the motions right now. They know they're a beaten team. Have that glazed look in their eye. Jones Jennings looking to try something back door and full cough into the lane and blocked by Charles. So Charles comes out on the shooter. Brannon inside to create havoc as he has done throughout this game. I don't know what Brandon was thinking of that time. I, I think he's asking himself the same thing. Why did I foul on that? Nothing good can come of that. You stop the clock, you send a guy to the free throw line. All you need to do is play out the string at this point. So Jennings returns to the stripe. Slingers enjoying a big advantage at the free throw line. 12 of 25. 
you know, similar to similar to beyond the arc, we saw their statistics. Two of 13. Well, Thailand had only taken three. They didn't need to shoot from outside that much. And Singapore doing what it can to force some action and get to the line. Then when they get to the line, they don't convert. Slingers have attempted 26 free throws. The Slammers just 12. Top of the key three is off the mark. Brandon on the offensive rebound. Brandon with 16 boards on the day. Baggione and an offensive foul. Wow. Charitable call yeah. from the official. I thought he split the defenders in two and somebody just stuck a hand in there. Nobody on the Singapore team. Let's look at it again. Now watch. Nobody moving their feet. Nobody moving their feet. You can see Jones just I, sort of grab. I, I just don't see how that's an offensive foul. I don't either. The defender has to have his feet set. And Wong was clearly sidestepping. Go for Singleton. Lim Sheng Yu in garbage time. Wong, and the foul is on. Kanawa Lert Laukul. Barry, you had to pronounce that for me, Sean, but as we get a chance to look at it again, watch us trying to beat him off the dribble, trying to create something. Thailand really not shutting him down, so forced to make the foul. Good job by Long that time to get a step on him by Wong. Wow. Wong now five of six from the free throw line and scoreless from the field. This is in both. Is that 12 of 31, Sean, from the free throw line. Lert Laukul on a drive, wraparound pass to Charles coming from the weak side. That's been there for them the entire day. Whenever anybody comes down the gut of the Singapore defense, everybody gets sucked in, leaving the wings exposed. Wong that, just has a tap. Lim, a three-point specialist. Loose ball, Lert Laukul coming up with it. Again, Thailand on the floor, still contesting. Dawson pulls it out. Mid-range jumper, no good. Put back from Chris Charles, who has come on and now has 19. Yeah, certainly only had, he was only in single digits in the first half. So taking over some of the scoring responsibilities from Baggion and Dawson and Brandon. Go 15. coming across. We have seen games where the Slingers have struggled to score 60 points. And today, 40 is yeah. going to be an obstacle. Yeah. And look at the game of Brandon. 15 points, 16 boards, 6 O, o boards, 2 blocks. They out-rebound the Slingers 48-31 on the road. Oh, that's what's incredible. I mean, that, you know... These things happen on the road. Okay, you go into somebody's house and they just really put it all together. But my goodness, I mean, your 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 home court is your fortress. Go missing both free throws. Slinger stay with it. He goes down inside and scores and lay in. Charles sagging off. Thailand guilty of ball watching that time. One of the few times. All Singaporean team in there for the Slingers. Charles taps. Slingers control. Here is Wong. Wild pass. Lim inside. And he scores. Slingers could have used this kind of lineup earlier in the game. Well, it's definitely a quicker lineup. Might be a little bit inexperienced, but it's a very quick lineup. You can see Singapore going full court press in these last couple of minutes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Off the hands of Wong, 15 seconds on the Shaw clock. Lim getting turned inside out on the crossover that time in the backcourt, that's embarrassing. 
Looking ahead on the schedule, the Slingers with a game in hand. As it goes in and out, they have games remaining against Saigon, the Westport Malaysia Dragons, and a pair against the Indonesia Warriors. So three of those four games will be a test for the Slingers, the Saigon Heat, because of injuries, badly undermanned. For the Thailand Slammers, they have a pair of games remaining against the San Miguel Beermen. That will be a stern test for them. But you know, I understand the last game they played against the Beermen, they had put forth a great effort. I think, well, they lose by 10 They or lost 78-70, and it was a very good effort. Swingers come up with the loose ball. Go for Lim. Goes inside and one. It's actually Wu Chingi, excuse me, who will have the three-point play. Well, both these teams playing with their uh, second team right now, and in a Singapore slightly quicker off the mark. That's the reason for that. You hardly see any of the starters in the game now for either Thailand or Singapore. So, advantage Singapore, at least in that respect today, Sean. 35 seconds to play. Double team. Good trap employed there by the Slingers. On the interior. Well, you know, these are the guys at the end of the day, they're going to have to get it done for your program. Of course, it's nice to bring in your foreigners, your Americans, every team can have a couple of then your Philippine players who have a lot of experience. But at the end of the day, Sean, it's your local players who will make and break your program. And to be honest with you, this your local players are the backbone of this league as well. So it's nice to see the Singapore boys coming out here, filling up the lanes and you know, getting the crowd up a little bit, even if, if it's going to be in a losing cause. Same thing with the Thailand team. Yeah, deny Konkum at the line. And go right down the Slammers team. And you've got a promising group of Thai players for Jill Bryant. Absolutely. Wong, no look pass. Rebound and score from Lim Sheng Yu. So the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers with a blowout victory here. Lurt now cool down the middle. And that will finish off the scoring. It will go into the books as a 73-49 win for the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers. Two teams battling for a playoff spot. Only one team showed up. Oh, absolutely, and especially that can't be even more true. That is more true when we talk about defense. You know, that's what the Thai coaching staff was talking about. We need to get it done on defense, and they didn't disappoint. First quarter totally shutting down Singapore. Back into the third quarter, looked like Singapore might make some noise, Sean. Only 10 points in that pivotal third quarter. That's the time when your home team and your home crowd is supposed to get you back in the game. Certainly didn't happen today. The Sports Rev Thailand Slammers get 19 points from Chris Charles, 15 from Darius Brannon, and 14 from Froilan Bagian. A crushing win for the Slammers. Post-game analysis when we return to the indoor stadium in a moment.
Four indoor stadium where the sports rep Thailand Slammers have utterly dismantled the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers 73-49. Joe Bryant had his team commit to team defense and it is reflected in the scoreline. He talked about it extensively before the game. He talked about it just every chance he got. We saw the halftime or interview with Michelle talked about it again you heard it in the huddles uh, in the timeouts defense 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 they took it to heart they turned offense from defense and then that's what the you win by 26 points I guess they played defense Chris Charles coming on in the second half finishes with 19 points and 19 rebounds he's the player of the game he's standing by with our Michelle Holland thanks John yes here with Chris Charles our player of the game Chris what did you make of your performance today uh, I struggled a little bit shooting, but my teammates, they played really hard and scrappy. Um, this was a very crucial uh, game for us, and everybody stepped up. I'm really proud of my, uh, the Thai players and everybody who stuck together. This is a very important game for us. This was a team that you lost to just a little over a week ago. What were your thoughts ahead of tonight's game? We just wanted to uh, keep the intensity, uh, stay energetic. The last game, we wanted to leave it behind us because uh, we knew that this game determined a lot, so we just came in here put our backs, backs against the wall and, and went hard. Coming in off the back of two losses, what does this win mean for the team today? Uh, it just builds on our momentum and um, going into the playoffs. We want to really focus on that. Congratulations, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Michelle, thank you. You can make a case for player of the game for Darius Brannon. 15 points, 16 rebounds, and he was all over the floor today for Thailand. Well, you know, and some of the stuff that he did doesn't show up in the uh, in the score sheet at all. The stuff he did down low uh, against uh, Singleton and uh, Jones Jennings is just remarkable. And also, how about Baggy on, you know, 14 points, 10 assists as well. Just, it was a team effort, Sean, and, and, and all predicated by defense. The Slingers here posing for post-game photos, but a look of dejection on their collective faces. This is a good interview, or good opportunity that was squandered by the Singapore Slingers. Joe Bryant talked midway through this game about team defense. Let's go back to Michelle Holland. Thank you, Sean. Coach, was there any additional pressure tonight? It was an important game. We have been focused on that uh, fourth playoff spot. So was there additional pressure? Oh uh, Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, you know, you lose in the NBA, you lose, you go home. You know, we want to continue to play and, you know, try to get that fourth spot. Uh, and like I said, the halftime, the important thing is defensively. Uh, we played very well defensively. We played actually a whole 40 minutes very well defensively. So, you know, I'm happy for our players and, uh, you know, we look forward to our next match. And uh, we talked about defense and uh, not making the same mistake twice, uh, drawing on your experience. Right. <laughs> now let's let's focus on that for your next game. You're up against the beer men. What does your experience tell you about them? Well, I tell you, we played them well. Uh, you know, a couple of days ago down in in, in, uh, in Thailand. I mean, it was only a seven point game. Actually, the game was close to that, and I think we had a lead about the nine points. Uh, they're very big. They're very strong around the around the around the basket and. Uh, you know, we're looking for actually we got uh, two games out there we go out there we play them on the eighth and also on the 11th so we'd be about you know five or six nights in the philippines which is not bad and uh, and it's a challenge and and if we want to compete you know we have to try to compete against the best and try to defeat the best so it's going to be a challenge and i'm going to challenge the team to kind of step up and see if we can get a win against the beer man scoreline today suggests you were pretty dominant out there on court but how confident were you coming in ahead of today's game well i tell you what we haven't practiced in four days. I gave the guys off because it's really it's not practice. It's not about strategy. It's about having their energy and having their legs. So uh, it showed tonight that the guys had their legs. Uh, you know, we've been playing all year, so the strategy, they know what I expect from them. The important thing for me as a coach and for the players is to give them some rest so they can have their legs. And like I said, they had to pass four days off. They didn't do anything. All right. Well, a very happy Coach Bryant here. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So hearing from Joe Bryant, a well-rested sports rev Thailand Slammers team, and they're going to get quite a break, Chuck. Their next game is Wednesday, May 8th, against those San Miguel beer men. So they'll go into it with fresh legs. Yeah, and he keeps preaching about fresh legs, and I think that's a very good point because with the defense that he's asked his team to play, especially the way they executed their defense today, you would need fresh legs. They sure, certainly didn't play like a team that had played three games in eight days. On the Singapore Slingers side of the ball, very little to be happy about Rashad Jones Jennings you see him there struggling badly let's hear from the Singapore head coach Neo Beng Siong. thank you coach Neo talk to us about that performance today 
Well, I don't know. Everybody is like not ready to play. I think uh, Thailand did a good job. They come really aggressive and they are more hungry than us. They they, they want to win badly. Uh, I don't know whether it's that the last game we win it, so they are too convinced about today's game. So we are not prepared as well. At this stage of the season, does a loss come a lot harder than any other time? Yeah, exactly. Because I think this is the game that really deciding us our playoff spot. But uh, we still got four games to go. So, I mean, we grab every chance we can. Talk to us about those next four games. What are you going to focus on in particular? No, I mean, defensively terrible today. So, offensively, we are not getting well. The effort is not there today, but we need to adjust our defense okay, to get ourselves uh, against uh, Saigon this uh, coming weekend. Okay, the very open and honest coach, Neo, there. Coach, thank you very much. In fact, the Singapore Slingers will have four days to get ready as they meet the Saigon Heat Thursday, May 2nd in Ho Chi Minh City. And now they really need to think about running the table if they want to get into the postseason. 73-49, your full-time score. We are back to the indoor stadium right after this. Seventy-three forty-nine. the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers roar into the indoor stadium and blow out the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers and in doing so, leapfrog them in the ABL standings. What can you say about the performance of Chris Charles? Chuck, quiet in the first half. He unloaded on the Slingers in the second. I say the same thing about Chris Charles. You say about the rest of the Thailand team, commitment. One word, commitment, and that's what they decided to do. They committed on defense. It rubbed off on their offense, both uh, in the transition areas. We look at some of the highlights right here. There's Charles eating the pack right there. Every time they got the ball, it was like a track meet going the other end. It's a track meet that they were destined to win time and time again. Just so smooth in the interior, and it seemed like Chris Charles time and time again was in exactly the right position. For the rest of the Slammers team, as you talked about, important contributions coming off the bench, notably in the person of Wudapong Dawson. Oh, Dawson, one of these Thai kids that we talked about who has a lot of game. Here he is right here. A 
again coming in from that left hand. He's knifing through. Here he is. Little catch and shoot. That's what you got to do if you want to establish some presence on the inside. Now, look at the little coming in from the weak side that time. No hesitation, no fear at all, Sean. Just getting it done. Ten points for Dawson. Here he is running the fast break or receiving the fast break. Transition offense so big for Thailand. Let's take a look now at the standings. You see the Slammers now in front of the Singapore Slingers at 7 and 12. The Slingers have a game in hand. Both clubs have difficult games remaining. The Slammers have two against the Beermen. The Slingers have two against the Indonesia Warriors. They also must play the Westport Malaysia Dragons. So a tough road to hoe for the Slingers. Let's look ahead to ABL action this coming week. The Saigon Heat host the Slingers in Ho Chi Minh City on Thursday, May 2nd. Our Fox Sports Asia game on Friday comes to you from the Inara Sports Arena at Pasig City. The San Miguel Beermen look for their 13th straight win against the number two team, the Indonesia Warriors. And we are right back here at the indoor stadium in a week's time to meet the Westport Malaysia Dragons. So an important pair of games, Chuck, for these Slingers. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Slingers are not dead yet, but if they're going to win, if they're going to get in the playoffs, they're going to have to beat some good teams, something that they haven't had a lot of success doing this year, and they're going to have to put forth a lot more effort, and they can take a page from Thailand commitment. 73-49, the Slammers win it. That is your final, and that will do it. For Michelle Holland and Chuck Schreiner, I'm Sean Farquhar. We will say goodbye from the Lion City. <laughs>